Hey guys, Adam from Elixir here. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Capsule Stack. Capsule is a nice little stack that allows you to streamline your pages and organize them, as well as uh, tidy them up and make them more minimalistic. So uh, I've already got a project started here, so in a second we'll jump into it. But essentially, Capsule allows you to place content on your pages and hide it, but also provide a toggle that allows your visitors to um, display that information or that extra content that's hidden away. So uh, like I said, I've already got a project started here, so we'll just go ahead and dive right in here and we'll look at some of the samples um, real quickly, and then we'll build out our own on a blank page. So uh, the most basic uh, way that Capsule works is you provide uh, one toggle and one content uh, area for the Capsule. And as you'll see here, we've got a toggle, which also has a label, and if we click on that, the uh, capsule content is shown and in this case the capsule content is an image a header and some text so right here next to it we've got another one in our column um, and if we click that we get an image a header and text so uh, basically it allows your visitors to show content um, that may be uh, hidden on the page so if we click it again it also hides that content back up uh, making your page more clean again uh, in addition to using these icons like we've got here uh, with a label, we can also use images. So you can provide two images that allows you to make um, a toggle of your own. Uh, I've also included a whole library of images that come uh, with the capsule stack so you can get started right away and you don't have to build your own images if you don't like. So if we click this toggle, uh, we notice that we get a two column stack here with an image and some content. So uh, it's really easy to use both for you setting it up and your visitors that are um, um, browsing through your pages. Uh, in addition to allowing you to uh, use one toggle and one content area, we can mix things up. We can use multiple uh, toggles or multiple content areas. In this case, we've got multiple toggles. If we turn the, uh, this toggle on, we'll scroll down and we see there's another one here inside of our content. So if we click this toggle, it's going to close this content back up and it also affects our original toggle. So we can uh, click either toggle and it'll close that content or open that content. And uh, this is really nice because we can have a nice long piece of content. And then once the user or visitor gets to the bottom, they can click that toggle and close it right back up. You could have these two toggles be in disparate places on the page. One could be at the top of the page and one at the bottom, uh, and they both trigger the same uh, block of content. So uh, it's really powerful in that way. And if we scroll down a little further here, we'll see we can also have multiple content areas that are all turned on by one toggle. So in this case, we've got this one uh, icon here, this toggle, if we click it, all three of these columns are separate capsule content areas. So we're actually opening three different capsules by just clicking this one toggle on and off. Uh, here, we'll see another example of a block of content and one toggle. But you'll notice this whole block of text here is our content um, for our um, capsule stack. And down here in the bottom corner, we've got a uh, toggle and it's already turned on. So we can have these toggles begin uh, when the page loads as being on already. So if we turn this toggle off, we hide that content right up. Oh, it pairs really well with Bloom. It allows you to uh, add some more info. For instance, we've got a nice Bloom stack here with our image on the left and content on the right. Uh, if you click the uh, more info here, we get our capsule opening up just below our Bloom stack. So it's a nice pairing with the Bloom stack. We can also use it for uh, read more buttons. So we have this block of text here and maybe a block of text below it, but we have a lot of content right here in the middle, but we don't want to clutter our page up. So we've added a read more link here. So if the um, uh, visitor clicks this toggle here, we get this whole block of text, some images, columns, they all appear here and it allows us to have a lot of content on a page, but not have the page look cluttered when it loads. So uh, your visitor can uh, approach your page and not be overwhelmed. Uh, we'll close that back up. Uh, these are just a couple of the examples of things you can do with the capsule stack. I'm sure you guys will come up with lots of different ways to use it that I couldn't even think of. So um, let's go back to edit mode and uh, we're gonna build a page and uh, add some capsule stacks to it so we can see how it really works here. 
All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a stacks page uh, to our project. We'll just call this test. And uh, then we'll jump here into our stack elements. We're gonna go down here and we'll notice that we have um, two different stacks that go um, with capsule. One is a content stack and one is the toggle. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag a, a toggle stack onto our page. And then right below that, we're gonna drop in a capsule content. All right, so now that we have these two stacks on our page, let's go ahead and look at the most important thing. And the most important thing is matching up the identifications of our toggle and our content. So to have this specific toggle open this uh, specific content area, we have to make sure that their identifications match. So if we click on our toggle, we'll notice right here in the general section, we have an ID of my ID. If we click down here on our content, it starts out the same with my ID. So now any content area, any of these capsule content areas, I should say, that have my ID as their identification will be opened when that toggle is clicked. So let's go ahead and add a little content to our um, capsule here. Uh, we've dropped in a header and some text, and if we preview our page, we'll be presented with a uh, nice toggle here, and if we click that, we'll get our content. We get our block of text and our header, and we can open and close that uh, really simple. So let's go back to edit mode. Let's add another uh, capsule content stack. We will go down here, we'll grab it and drag it on our page, and let's go ahead and make this a columns uh, stack, and in that we're gonna drag in some text in both columns, and let's drag in a header in both columns. Now notice we have not changed our ID. It is the same as um, the one above it and the toggle. So if we preview our page, when we click our toggle here, we're gonna get both of those capsules opening up because they all three have the same identification. So let's go back to edit mode and we're gonna change that. We're gonna change um, this capsule and we're gonna change it to my ID two. We'll just add a two to the end there and we'll go back to preview mode. Now, when we click that toggle, only the first one should open up. See, we didn't. it doesn't even hide the second one because it doesn't have a toggle uh, associated with it. So we don't want that content to be hidden if there's no way to open it up. So if we click our toggle here, that one section opens right up. So let's go ahead and add another toggle to our page. We're gonna drag this one down here to the bottom. And this time, instead of using um, this icon here, let's go ahead and use an image. So we'll select our type, we're gonna select image, and it gives us two drop zones here, one for the closed switch and one for the open switch. If we go up here to our uh, uh, stack uh, media, you'll see this section called toggles off and toggles on. And these come with the stack. They get installed the same time that the stack gets installed. So let's choose one of these off uh, toggles. This is off 2.png. So we'll drag that here in the closed section. And then let's see on. We'll choose this on to PNG. And now we've got a little toggle here uh, that's an image. Let's go ahead and change the uh, identification for this one to my ID two, and we're going to preview our page. And just like that, you'll see we've got two toggles here, no content though, because now we have a toggle for that second content area, so it knows to hide itself. So if we click our first toggle, our first block opens up, and if we click our second toggle, our second block with the two columns opens up. So it's really easy. Uh, to set up and really powerful because we can assign multiple toggles to one uh, content area or vice versa and we can style it with our own, own images or use um, a built-in icon so it's really really powerful so let's go back to edit mode here we'll add a little more content to our page we'll uh, grab another column stack we're going to drag this up here and we're going to put it between our two um, capsule uh, stacks here put some text in it and we'll put a header in here. And now we're gonna add another capsule content right here at the bottom of both of these um, uh, columns. And in those capsules, we're gonna add some more text. 
and let's actually multiply this out a little bit. We'll cut and paste some more content for these. That way we have a lot of stuff going on there. All right, so now we want to make sure we get these individual identifications. So we click on our capsule content, and we'll go over here, we'll call this My ID 3, and we'll click on the other capsule content, and we'll call that My ID 4. So currently we don't have any toggles that are going to turn these on or off. So let's go ahead and set a couple of those up. We'll go back here to our stack elements and we'll drag uh, a capsule uh, toggle right in here. And let's go ahead and uh, modify this a little bit. So we're going to click on our capsule toggle and we'll go over here. Let's add a label. So we've got this checkbox that asks use label and we'll say yes. And now we can enter uh, our text for our label. So let's call it just read more. And just like that, we've got a toggle here with some text. Let's go ahead and align that to the uh, left. And let's change our icon um, from being a switch and we'll have it a drop down arrow instead. So let's choose this arrow down. And for the um, uh, other icon, after it's already opened, we'll choose cancel. So now we've got this uh, capsule uh, toggle all set up. We just need to enter the right ID number. So uh, this capsule content right below it is my ID three. So we're going to make make sure that this is my ID three as well. Now let's copy and paste this one over here, and we're going to just change this to my ID four, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and preview our page. Now we've got a bunch of toggles here on the page with lots of different content, so let's see how they all work. We've got our original toggle here at the top, and it opens up to show our uh, block of text and our header. And we've got our toggle here at the bottom, which opens up to show two columns. But right here, we've also got these toggles that say read more with a down arrow. So if we click one of those, it drops down all of this nice content. Now it's a little uh, backwards in my opinion, we should really move this read more uh, to the bottom of this capsule. That way, once it's open and we're down at the bottom of our text, we can close it right back up. So let's go to edit mode. We'll take this capsule toggle and drag it down to the bottom, just below our capsule content, and we'll do the same over here. Now let's re-preview our page and see how this works a little bit different now. So if we click our read more, we notice that our uh, block of text opens up and our close toggle is now down here at the very bottom. And that works for both of these. So as you can see, this stack's really powerful and you can do a lot of different things with it. Uh, last thing I want to do before we um, uh, finish up is I'm going to go back to edit mode and we'll just have a look at some of the different options that uh, are in the uh, not only a toggle but also the capsule content so let's click on the uh, capsule toggle here and you'll notice we've got uh, the ability to start open so if we want one of our content areas uh, to start open when the page loads we would turn this on so if we re-preview our uh, page here you'll notice this toggle starts on and its associated content right here uh, starts open if we click in, uh, on this toggle, it'll close it right up. Now, one thing to note, if you're using multiple toggles on one content area, each of those toggles has to have this start open turned on if you want the content to start open. The next thing we can look at is our label. We looked at that a little down here, but if we turn it on, it allows you to add a label to your uh, toggle, whether it's an image or an icon, uh, set the color for the label, as well as the labels, um, uh, font size so we can make that bigger or smaller um, according to how we want our page to look. We can also choose as we did before the toggle uh, type which is an icon or an image and then we can choose the closed icon or open icon or we can also set up our uh, closed or open images. If we're using the icon we can also set the color and the, uh, the size as well as we can set the alignment whether we're using the icon or the image. So we can make that left, center, or right justified. So and it's really nice uh, way to set up the toggles and make them uh, custom for each, each instance. We can also set how long it takes for the uh, animation to occur. 
as well as the animation type. Again, if you're using multiple toggles on one content area, you want this to match. So each toggle you would want the same speed and the same animation type. Now if we click on the capsule content, there are fewer options, but there are a few options here. Again, we've got our identification, which has to match our toggle, and we've also got detailed padding or uh, a standard padding. So we can click on our, our capsule like we've got now and adjust the padding around the content. Or we can click on the detailed padding and set it uh, ourselves on a side-by-side um, -side basis. So we could set the top, bottom, and right all independent of one another. We also have this option at the bottom that allows us to set an inset shadow. So if we turn that on, we'll see we've got this nice little shadow uh, going on. If we preview our page, you'll see it uh, makes our uh, our content area look like it's sunken into the page. And we can actually accent this a little bit too. So if we go back to edit mode and we go up here to our um, background, we can set a solid color background and choose like a nice light gray for instance. And this makes it look even more like it's sunk into the page. We can also uh, choose to round the corners of our, um, our content area. So we could go here and round the corners, set it maybe to eight. So we've got these nice rounded corners. And when we go to preview mode, you'll notice now we've got this inset look with a nice gray background and some nice rounded soft corners. So it's a good way to um, just dress up the content uh, that goes with your uh, toggle. So Overall, we think that the uh, capsule stack is going to be a really powerful tool for you. Uh, it'll help you um, tidy up your pages and make them more uh, streamlined and modern and uh, definitely more minimal uh, so it's not um, overwhelming for your visitor when they are confronted with a lot of information all at once. They can choose um, to take it in bite-sized chunks. So we really hope you enjoy Capsule and thanks for watching.